The Bedroom Musician's Eternal Pondering. Should I save up for the real deal? Or is the budget option worth the spend? This is an Ernie Ball Music Man JP7, a basswood beast loaded with original DiMarzio custom wound pickups, piezo acoustic simulator pickup, Schaller M6 IND locking tuners, and a 15 inch radius. The gunstock oiled hand wax 25 and a half inch scale length, coupled with the 47.6 to 65.9 mm neck width, is a concoction for only one thing. Speed. Which, if you're influenced at all by his majesty, John Petrucci, you'd be very glad to hear. This is upheld by the buttery neck pickup, which was modelled off of the Steve Vai signatures at the time. The treble is rolled back, where mid and bass are pushed lightly, which allows quick passages to flow seamlessly. That's not to outshine the bridge though, where you'll find tight lows and bright harmonics. The medium output of this pickup allows loads of headroom so that you can get clarity in chords even at high gain. And just look at that paint job. Music Man's finishing is consistently stunning. Enter Exhibit B. The Sterling by Music Man JP157. Even though this one is modelled on the Ernie Ball JP15, I feel this comparison better suits the topic, as a second-hand JP7 can cost about a grand if you look in the right place, where the Sterling retails at £800 as of the recording of this video. Second-hand though, the mahogany monstrosity would run you about £600, and that's not too bad. The neck is slightly wider at 49.5mm at the nut and a 16-inch radius. Yeah, this quilted maple top does give the Music Man a run for its money. But interestingly, the 157 has a feature you'd have to pay top dollar for in a Music Man JP model. The Volume Boost. A feature introduced first in the JP13 series for Dream Theater's self-titled run. I'm playing on stage with my JP7, and have become excited. As a result of this, I am attempting to woo a lady in the audience away from my pedal board. 
The solo's coming up. And I slide into it. No one can hear me. She runs off with the bass playing. Now with the 157, I can continue to seduce the lady, play the solo, and still get rejected. I didn't choose the prog lifestyle. I actually used to own the old JP100 Sterling model, and honestly, the improvements since then are staggering. My main issue was in the bridge. Although Sterling Modern Trem has a little rougher action than the Ernie Ball Paizo bridge, its earlier incarnations featured sharp saddles, which would cause you to run through strings like hot meals. Every time I took it on stage, the overwhelming fear of string breakage caused me to take off the arm completely and eventually sell it. Fear not though, because the 157 has rounded saddles, so I can noodle in confidence. In all honesty, credit where it's due. Sterling have really stepped up the game and created an affordable, desirable, ultra-playable instrument. I absolutely will replace the pickups in this one, but the recipe is just right to me. A mahogany-bodied, slim-necked shred machine. If you want that Petrucci experience, this is close. Is it worth saving that extra bit for the Ernie Ball, though? Absolutely.